Hey folks, this is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy. I'm here on spring break here in Las Vegas. And, uh, you know, I don't really have my usual setup, so I do apologize for this. I don't have a good microphone. I don't have my typical stuff. So if things are a little bit subpar, give me a break. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do here is uh, show you and help you fix one of the most frustrating errors you can get on Macintosh OS X. So right here we have Tangled. Great film. Excellent movie. Now, let's open this up uh, with QuickTime Player. We're in the middle of our movie. We're loving it. And uh, let's say for whatever reason it's hidden. Now, this is a bad example because this is an easy one to find out. But a lot of times you'll try and delete an application or a folder or a file, and it says you can't delete this file because the file is currently in use. And you think to yourself, well, what the freak is using it? Sometimes they're little helper applications, a bunch of teeny little things that you can't delete because something else is using it, and you have no idea how to diagnose it. So we're going to use a super obvious situation just to you know kind of embellish it. But right now we have... QuickTime Player open. Tangled is open. Let's say we wanted to throw Tangled away. We went to the trash, we right click and say empty trash, and it'll say, hold on a minute, you can't delete this because Tangled is currently in use. And again, let's say that this was a movie, let's say that it was a tiny little application file and we we're thinking, well, what is, what's using it? So this is going to help you figure out what exactly is being used. You're going to need to open Terminal. You can find Terminal through Spotlight. You can find it through uh, a launcher like Alfred or Quicksilver. You can find it through your Applications folder in Applications, Utilities, and Terminal. So we've got Terminal open, and this is what we need to do. You also need to have your Trash window open here. And uh, we're going to type LSOF. Now don't type Enter yet. You're going to press a space after LSOF or LSOF. And now you're going to take the Tangled file because this is the this the troubled file. So you're going to take the troubled file from the trash and stick it in this terminal window. That's going to provide the path. So our path is user slash qnelson slash trash slash tangled. Yours will be something along the lines of that. And you're going to press return. Now it's going to tell you right here exactly what is being used. Now uh, there's the name of the file, the node, the size of the file, and what we want right here is the uh, command, the file that's the application that's actually using this file. We can see that it's QuickTime, uh, the PID, the identifier, uh, the identifier is 1280. But we could go into Activity Monitor here, and uh, Activity Monitor just kind of lets you see every application or every little process that's running. And you can, again, find that under the utility section, or you can find it through Spotlight. And Activity Monitor, you will be able to say, OK, QuickTime, where'd you go? You can type QuickTime in. And there you go, PID 1280. We're going to quit that process. And if you force quit it, then you will be able to um, empty your trash without any issues this time. Tangled's gone, and you're good. And uh, that's one of the many uses of Terminal. Check out Terminal Tip Tuesday to find out everything you can do with your Mac. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.